Welcome to Tree Tips. This here is commonly referred to as Spanish moss, but it is neither Spanish nor moss. This common Florida native is an epiphyte known as Tillandsia usneoides. It is a Tillandsia, and Tillandsias are very closely related to the more commonly known plant, bromeliads. Epiphytes are capable of growing on our trees and in our treetops, and they do not need traditional soil to be able to grow. They are air plants, and they help to create habitat in our treetops. No need to remove these. If your plant is declining, it's probably due to something else. And we want to show you a few other different common epiphytes. One epiphyte that I've taken a liking to are lichens. There's many different types, and despite the common misconception of them being a disease on your tree, they don't hurt anything. In fact, you can find them growing on rocks and fences. Our final epiphyte for this video is the resurrection fern. The cool thing about the resurrection fern is it's going to look different based on the time of the year. During dry season, it's going to dry up and appear dead. And then when the rainy season starts, it resurrects and turns green. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to give us a like and a follow. Contact your extension agent for local resources. There's an agent in every county in the state. And check out the description for below for more information.